Okay, Mets and Diamondbacks. These two teams played against each other just a couple weeks ago. We're back at Orn Park for a similar series. Seth, you guys swept the series last time with only two players. You have only two players again today, a very similar setting. Are we going to see a similar result from your team? Well, I mean, you always go into the weekend with the expectation you're going to win as many games as possible. Most games we can win is three, so we're going to try to win three. Awesome. And Seth, what's the word on Cam Brown's status? He is out again for this series. He hasn't played in over a month. Can we expect to see him at all in the regular season, or are you saving him for the postseason? I don't know if saving him is the word I would use. Saving would mean that I, like, had active contact with him and knew what he, where he was at any given time. So, uh, no, I wouldn't call it saving him for the playoffs. If he's here for the playoffs, fine. But if he's back, it's not because we saved him. Awesome. Well, Seth, best of luck today. Thank you. All right, we're here with Diamondbacks captain Michael Lynch. Michael, you're 2-10 at this point in the season. You've got a new roster today. Joe's got a new fresh haircut. New look for the Diamondbacks. Are we going to see a new result from your team? Yes, we are. Uh, after the All-Star break, we're looking for a fresh start. We're trying to end the year on a high note. Uh, Joe is more aerodynamic. Matt is Matt, and I'm me. So we're going to do great. Awesome. Great. Best of luck for the Diamondbacks. That's Diamondbacks. Let's get right into it. All right, top of the first in game one, Mets and Diamondbacks, Jackson Hart on the mound. Joe steps in, had a great series offensively against them in their last meeting. We got a full count in the first inning. Jackson delivers 3-2, and he's gonna set him down on strikes. Joe goes down looking, one away. Michael Lynch said earlier they're a playoff team. We are nearing the postseason in just a couple short weeks. 3-0 to Lynch, Jackson delivers. It's low. Michael Lynch is aboard with a four-pitch walk. In steps Matt, making his TBR Whipple debut. One and two. Jackson looking to end the inning, and he does. It's a quick inning for the Mets. We head to the bottom of the first scoreless. Bottom of the first in game one. We are scoreless as Seth Hellman steps in. 3-0 and to Seth. Lynch deals. And he misses high. Seth, four-pitch walk to start the inning. Jackson Hart steps in, MVP front runner. One and two to Jackson. And Lynch sets him down on a nasty pitch. One out in the bottom of the first. He can get out of the inning here. He deals. That one's on the left side. It's a ground rule double, stays fair. Seth keeps the inning alive for the Mets in a 2-2 count. 3-1, the pitch is low. Bases are now loaded for Seth. Three and two, bases loaded. And it's gone. A 3-2 grand slam for Seth Hellman. With their backs against the wall, he delivers big in the bottom of the first, and it's 4-0 Mets. 0-2. And he gets out of the inning. He gives up four, but he retires the next batter. We're headed to the top of the second. It's 4-0 Mets. Top of the second, Diamondbacks have work to do. Mets had a four-run inning. That one's popped up. Jackson bobbles it, can't make the play. Joe will stay one. Lynch, that's gonna be a two-run shot for Michael Lynch. And the Diamondbacks pull within two in the top of the second. Fresh off of his first All-Star appearance, Michael Lynch with a two-run shot in the top of the second. That one's gonna be off the wall. It stays in play. He's gonna have his first career hit in TBR Wiffle Ball. Yes, sir. Two and two to Joe. That's gonna catch the side of the zone. Jackson has his first out of the inning. Two and two to the captain. Jackson delivers, swing and a miss, and he's gonna end the inning. Diamondbacks get two, and we're headed to the bottom of the second, 4-2 game. Full count, Lynch delivers. And that one's just gonna barely miss the zone. Sets the board with a walk. Lynch deals one, two. Jackson goes down on strikes. And he walks him. Runners on first and second for Jackson. Three, one to Jackson. That one's low. Bases are loaded for Seth. Bases loaded, one out. Seth steps back in. They have a two run lead. He's looking to extend that. And it hits him. The Mets now have a three-run lead. Bases are still loaded for Jackson Hart. Five to two game. That hits Jackson, it's six to two. That hits him, seven to two. 
want to know. That one's a grounder to Matt. They are going to not make the play. Seth scores. Nobody out. Another run comes in. It's 8-2 to two now. Looking to limit the damage as much as he can here. That one over to Matt. He's going to get the runner at third, and the inning is over. They give up four. They need six to keep this game alive. Head to the top of the third. Two and two. Back. Yeah. Three, two to Joe. He walks them. Runners on first and second for Lynch. And it's a four pitch walk to Michael Lynch. Bases loaded, nobody out. Full count, bases loaded, nobody out. That's gonna miss the zone, they walk in and run, 8-3. We are still full, Jackson delivers. That's low, it's 8-4. Still nobody out for the captain. Two and two to Lynch. Swing and a miss, there's one gone in the top of the third. Still an 8-4 game, one swing in the bat can tie it, one and oh. That one's gone, he ties it! answers Michael Lynch's prayers and it's 8-8 in the top of the third. In his first appearance with the Diamondbacks, a sensational grand slam to tie the game. The fence goes down, but we're finishing the inning. Swing and a miss. That's the inning. The Mets need one to win the game. It's 8-8 headed to the bottom of the third. It's a windy day. The fence is not cooperating, but we're just going to roll. That catches the zone, what a pitch. The pitch he needed. 3-0 to Seth. That one's low, he walks him on four pitches. Jackson steps back in. The 1-2 to Jackson. Over to Matt, who makes the play at second. The Diamondbacks have a scoreless inning, and we're headed to extra innings in game one. Okay, extra innings, top of the fourth. A windy one, the fence is down. We Play on. The one two to Lynch. Swing and a miss. There's one gone in the top no of the fourth. There's no way it is. One and two. Jackson looking to end the inning. And he does. Quick inning for the Mets. And we head to the bottom of the fourth where they have an opportunity to win. Michael Lynch, the 0 2. And he gets Seth on three straight pitches. Lynch looking for the punch out once again. And he gets it. We're headed to five. And he sheaths the sword. This is the longest game this season. Two. We're only in game one. It's 8-8. Eight, eight. We play on. 2-2 two, two to Joe. Oh, run that. That's run a fair that. ball. Run Stays in play. Joe's Sir. aboard with a single. He gets a piece of that one. It's a ground rule double. Runners on second and third. Nobody out. Jackson's got him against the ropes. 0-2. Oh, and he sets him down looking. 3-1 to Joe. That's low. The bases are full for the captain. Two and two to Jackson. Lynch, a fair ball. He gets him at home. Jackson Hart escapes the threat from the Diamondbacks. We're headed to the bottom of the fifth. Okay, bottom of the fifth. Officially the longest game of the season. Seth can walk it off here. Looking to battle back in the count. And that one's high and away. Five pitch walk. This can put the game winning run in scoring position. And it does. Lynch deals 3-1. Outside, bases are loaded. Two go to Jackson. He gets a hang of one. Matt's gonna go home, but he can't get him. And it's a walk-off single for Jackson Hart. Could have pegged him, but Seth Hellman <laughs> outruns him. And the Mets take game one in the bottom of the fifth. A Nine, sentence eight. that has never been said before. Seth Hellman <laughs> outruns him. <laughs> We're going to head to game two. The Mets took the first game in a thriller, 9-8. to eight. Full count. He deals, and he gets them. Seth goes down looking. One gone in the top of the first. One and one. Oh, that yeah, one's baby. gone. Jackson Hart sits back on it. It's one nothing Mets in the top of the first. He was quiet in game one. 
<laughs> Found his pitch to start game two. It's one nothing Mets. The three one. That hits Seth and then the zone. Hey. Matt delivers the three two. And he got him. A nasty pitch to end the inning. They give up one, but limit the damage. We're heading to the bottom of the first. Diamondbacks with a chance to answer here. Seth Hellman on the mound. Seth deals 3-1. That misses the zone and Lynch is aboard with a walk. Seth battling back in the count. 3-1 to Joe. That one's outside. 3-1 Seth in danger of loading the bases. And he does. Seth will take himself out of the game. We got a pitching change for the Mets. Jackson Hart is back in. And it's gone! Michael Lynch with a no doubt grand slam gives the Diamondbacks a three run lead in the bottom of the first. Got a pair of home runs on the day. And that one's big. Gives them a three run lead in the bottom of the first with nobody out. Three one. Checks his swing. One and one. That one's up the middle. Jackson Hart can't corral it. Runners are on first and second for Lynch. One and up. Foul tip. It's in play. He gets Joe at third. Gets the lead runner. One and up. Ooh, he nails him in the head. <laughs> the hair he had last week may have been a cushion for that, but he has none. They're up by three. Looking to extend that to five. Up the middle to Seth. He has to go, he gets him. The Diamondbacks ride the wave of Michael Lynch's grand slam to take a 4-1 lead headed into the second. He checks his swing and Seth is aboard. Walks on five pitches, 2-0. That one's gone. Jackson Hart brings him within one. It's a 4-3 game. A couple homers on the day. Bringing his team back in the top of the second. Full count. Matt deals. And he misses the zone low. Seth is aboard. Jackson Hart. Yep. <laughs> a two-run shot to give them the lead in the top of the second. It's 5-4 Mets. His second of the inning, third of the game. I've never told you that I really like having on the team. <laughs> Seth is now hit by a pitch and he's aboard. Up the middle. That's going to be, I think, a ground rule single. No fence in play because of the wind. And he walks Seth. It's the camera in the process. Walking a run here with a ball. Jackson Hart off the end of the bat. It stays in play. One run scores. One run scores on the Jackson Hart single. That hits him and ends the inning. Mets tack on six. It's a 7-4 game headed to the bottom of the second. Bottom of the second in game two. Diamondbacks trail by three. Michael Lynch steps in. 1-0 to Lynch. That one's popped up to Jackson. He makes the play. There's one gone in the bottom of the second. The 3-1 pitch. That's inside. Joe's aboard. Five-pitch walk. Two and two to Matt. Swing and a miss, and it's three up, two down. I forgot you walked him. We head to the top of the third. 7-4 Mets. That hits him. Jackson Hart is aboard. 3-1. And that's outside, five pitch walk. Runners on first and second for Jackson. Yo, A high fly yo, ball. Yo. Matt makes the play and there's one gone. Michael Lynch can get out of the jam with a strike here. Just barely misses the zone, but it does and the bases are loaded for Jackson Hart. Back against the wall, he deals and he gets them. The Diamondbacks surrender, no runs and we head to the bottom of the third where they need four to win the game. Bottom of the third, 7-4 game. Diamondbacks need three to tie, four to win. Come on, yeah, that yeah, one's yeah. in play. Michael Lynch is safely aboard with a single. Two and one. Over to Seth. 
There is no play to be made. Runners are on first and second for Joe. Full count, runners on first and second, nobody out. Jackson Hart looking for the punch out. And he gets it. One and two, down to his last strike. Swing and a miss, and the Mets escape the threat from the Diamondbacks in game two. They have won the series, but there is still a game to be played. We will head to game three momentarily. Okay, it is game three. The Mets took the first two games. Diamondbacks looking to take one out of the series here. Oh the 3-2 from Jackson to Matt. That's inside, he walks him. And he strikes out on three straight pitches. Swing and a miss. Jackson Hart ends the inning with back-to-back -back Ks. We head to the bottom of the first, scoreless. Misses, Seth walks on five pitches. Over to Matt, can't corral it. Hops up on him, Jackson's aboard with a single. Runners on first and second for Seth. Lynch delivers the three and one. That hits Seth. Bases are loaded for Jackson, nobody out. That hits Jackson, they walk in a run. That hits him, it's two nothing Mets two walked in runs here in the bottom of the first. <laughs> Did it hit you or did you get out of the way? Jackson with a valiant effort to get out of the way, but all for naught, three nothing. And that misses another walked in run. That hits him, five nothing Mets. Three and two. That one's popped up. Matt's gonna make the play. Base is still loaded. That one over to Matt, no play to be made and it'll end the inning. <laughs> Matt's tack on six in the bottom of the first. We head to the top of the second. 0-2. Oh Lynch gets a piece of one out to deep center. He'll stop at one, three and one. Gets a piece of that one, it stays fair. That ball had a mind of its own. Misses high. One and up. That stays in play. Lynch is going to be safe. Two runs come in. Michael Lynch with a two RBI single. Three and oh. And he walks on four pitches. One swing of the bat and it's a tie game. And it is a tie game. <laughs> six, six in the top of the second. The lifeless Diamondbacks come alive and tie the game. We head to the bottom of the second. All knotted up at six. Over to Matt, collects it. They can't make the play. Seth is aboard via the error. Runner on first, nobody out. Jackson Hart pops it up. Lynch calls him off. There's one gone. Looks Seth back at first. Two, one. That one's gone. A two-run shot for Seth Hellman. Puts him up by two. Seth Hellman makes it an 8-6 game. The Mets regain the lead. 3-1 to Jackson. That one misses. He's aboard with a five-pitch walk. 3-0 to Seth. Hits the camera. Misses the strike zone. Runners on first and second for Jackson with one out. Jackson up the middle. That's just one. Three and one in danger of walking in a run here in the bottom of the second. He does. 9 6 Mets lead. Jackson Hart steps back in. Base is still loaded. That hits him. It's 10 6. That one's gone. A grand slam. Only two will score. It's a 12 6 game headed to the top of the third. The Mets need two outs to put this one away and sweep back to back to back series. That's what, that's what 
It's the top of the third. The Mets lead by six. They can end the game with two outs here. So the whole baseball team was there. And he walks on four pitches. Over to Seth. Kicks it to keep it in play. <laughs> one and two. Swing and a miss. He got Lynch. The three one to Matt. That one missed. The bases are now loaded for Joe. That one is high, back, and gone. A grand slam to bring them within two. 12-10 game now. Don't count the Diamondbacks out just yet. Never. Oh, Crane, next time you hit a home run, you bring it on. <laughs> Three and one to Lynch. That one's outside. Tying run at the plate. The 3 1 pitch. Low. Runners on first and second. Joe steps back in, fresh off a grand slam. 1 0. Oh. That one's high. Seth! Oh, did he catch it? He did! <laughs> Seth Hellman at the wall. <laughs> One handed snag to save the go ahead home run. It's a walk off out. Seth Hellman with a phenomenal catch. And the Mets sweep back to back to back series. They win game three, 12 to 10. We'll talk with them momentarily after a phenomenal end to the game. All right, we're here with the Mets after a series sweep against the Diamondbacks. Guys, 11 wins in a row, three sweeps in a row. Jackson, we'll start with you. You cooled off a little bit in game one following the All-Star break. You were right back in it in game two. What changed from game one to game two? Honestly, I think it was that All-Star break. It killed me. It just put me in the cold streak. Arm was dead. That wasn't swinging. I need to come out here and get some ABs in first. But that second game, I was really feeling it, seeing the ball well. And Seth held his own, too. I think it's just our uh, chemistry is taking us all the way. Nice. Seth, team captain, you're 11-4 and four with one series left against the Padres. I'm sure you'll be scoreboard watching this week, Padres and Yankees. What can we expect from your team in that final date with the Padres coming later next week? Same thing we did today, just patience at the plate and doing our best to win as many games as possible. Awesome. Mets, Diamondbacks, Mets take the series three games to none. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next video.